Hey guys, so I wanted to just talk with you guys for just a few moments. Um, as you saw, a lot of the clips I put around here were some wildlife stuff I've got a chance to see just over the last few days and over the last uh, weekend when I had some days off there. And so, um, just kind of cool to test out the zoom capabilities on this new little camera of mine. Apologize, the footage kind of moves all over. Um, when you're zoomed out to effectively 700 millimeters handheld, you're going to see that a little bit even though the camera stabilization does its thing but that's why it kind of moves around like this a little bit just because the camera is trying to compensate for everything else but came across that that little area clear cut there a lot of brush and stuff down and there was deer everywhere out there which you saw uh, must have been probably i think i counted around 12 or 15 of them in the end and then just had a chance uh Saw that nice nice eagle sitting up in a tree as well and figured I'd try and capture some footage. That's specifically for you, Sid, so I don't want to hear any more complaining about not getting the, the footage of the eagles. So I happened to see that one and, and uh, wanted to capture it right away. So um, thought for today, I, I got to do something recently. Um, actually, it was New Year's Eve and something I'd never done. I was asked because of these videos by a band uh, I know uh, an old friend of mine I used to play in a band with him for many years he's got a new band now and, and has his own group set up and everything and he knows I've been doing a little bit of this video work and asked if I'd be willing to come up and shoot some footage for them kind of in a montage feel where I was just shooting a lot of small clips that they're going to use to put together for some sort of you know promotional video something like that and um you know, I, I, I was brutally honest with him. I told him I've, I've never shot anything like that. I don't know really how to do it. I don't know how my camera will perform in those situations. And in the end, he, he still wanted me to come do it. So I did it and it was a lot of fun um, trying something new and, and learned a few things. You know, the footage on a, on a camera like this, I'm using a Panasonic FZ300. It's a bridge camera, but shoots 4K video and has really good, you know, video files from that aspect, as long as you're in good light. Now they had their stage lights and stuff, but it's a low light situation and so I had to ramp up the ISO a little bit and so as a result of course the video is a little bit, little bit grainy and a little bit noisy, but I think all in all um, came out alright. The audio held up nicely with the Rode mics, I mean it's not studio quality, but the Rode mic I use on my camera seemed to work really well, but it was really cool um, to be able to do that because it combined two things I love and something that you know, it might be fun to do a little more of, maybe not necessarily exclusively video because I also took the opportunity since I have my other gear with me to grab my uh, regular cameras and make some still photos which I feel much more comfortable with and I think I got some really cool still photos and some fun moments for them so hopefully um, you know it's something they can use and they'll like that but it, what it did is it married together two of my creative passions that I've had one basically lifelong i've been a drummer since i was you know end of second grade beginning of second grade something like that so well over 30 years now and um i've been in you know a photographer here for 11 years something like that going on 11 years and so a little bit newer to the photography game although it's still quite a while but they're both creative outlets that i was able to kind of marry and um really enjoy you know making photos of a music scene so it was it was a lot of fun something different i'll try and put up um a few clips here and there in the future i just have to wait for them to go through and do whatever they want to do with them and and get the okay to do that so um you know just want to make sure that i'm not putting stuff out before they're ready to release it and stuff and so I may I may actually work on putting a few things together for them out of the clips I got also because I guess one of the guys in the band does a little bit of video editing so he's gonna just take the raw footage and and do whatever they need to do with it so but once I once I get the all clear I'll, I'll try and share some of that let you know how that went but it was really fun you know and and something a little different because usually when I'm in a live band situation I always thought it'd be fun to, to shoot that but I'm usually sitting behind my drum set playing and so there's obviously no way to, to do both at once and so um, it was just it was kind of fun to do something different so I you know I, I often think about how photography and music seem to marry so well together and I know it's not just me there's a lot of musicians that have taken up photography 
Um, Brian Adams comes to mind, and, and I know there's a number of others that have you know some amazing photography work aside from their you know very very good you know body of musical work, um, as well as actors and things like that. But um, there's also a fair amount of um, photographers who seem to have been musicians at some point or another, whether it's full time or just in a garage band or played when they were younger. But I mean, I, I still play, I still consider myself a musician, you know, I, I, I have that passion in my heart and it'll never go away. And uh, much to my wife's dismay, because being a drummer, as you can imagine, that means I'm always tapping on things and always, you know, tapping out rhythms and things like that. But it's a discussion maybe I'll, I'll have to give a little more thought about how, how the two kind of work together. But um, you know, it's something I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on too. If, if any of you are musicians that have gotten into photography or vice versa, where you're a photographer that has picked up an instrument, I'd love to hear what you think as far as how one art form has kind of influenced the other one and how they work together and, and if you notice any any flow between the two. So with that, it's a little chilly out. I'm going to get back in the car and head off. I've got to take care of a few errands here. So you guys take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow.